the start of the journey. My father had this Alice Chalmers 310 since we were children. He loved it. Now, my father's sick, so I'm going to pick it up and see if I can do a restoration on it. Try to make it shiny and new. Um, right now, you can see it's not in the greatest of shapes. I'm at his former resident right now. It's got the mower deck, the rotor tiller, and the seats in the, the truck there. And uh, my father loved this, so I'm going to see if I can do him a huge surprise and, and restore this for him. This is the beginning. I got to get it back to Chicago. I'm in Michigan. So here's my project. Alice Chalmers, either 71, 2, or 3, 310. There is a mower deck, the rotor tiller. And right now, um, for some reason, it will not go out of reverse. And I'm trying to see if the motor's running too. It's free, it cranks, but no spark whatsoever. So, I'm going to see if I can jump the seat switch. Maybe that's it. There's no seat on it. Um, I can't remember even if this had a seat switch. But I'm going to put a jumper across there, put a battery on it, see what happens. Okay. I can't uh, get a spark. Um, here's the switch that I jumped. Got that, uh, or that, uh, there's a switch back here. And I think that's just the, if it's in gear switch and there's a wire here. I don't, they can't reach back there. So I'm not exactly sure if this goes there. Um, it's been a lot of, uh, let's say, funny kind of engineering going on on this thing. And, uh, Got to see, I checked the points, it's not sparking, and uh, I get a crank, but I don't know if it's the coil, the condenser, or the points, so uh, I'm going to start troubleshooting on that tomorrow, and hopefully get this thing fired up. Uh, if I can get it, the engine fired up, my game plan is to do all the mechanics here in the winter, and start doing the body work and painting in the summer. Um, I'll do my test painting on the mower and the tiller and the real painting on the tractor itself. So, um, that's the project and uh, I watched 500 passwords uh, videos and they were so excellent I decided to try this out to help my father. And my little boys are going to help me, so it'll be a father-son project for us. And hopefully my dad will love this if I can get it done and running for him. Hope I can do that. Okay, here I am with my two helpers, six-year-old Connor and eight-year-old Tyler. Peace. I told them that if they did this father and son project with me, that they didn't just have to pass tools. They are going to get the help. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to have Tyler tighten up the battery and then we're going to have Khan, we're going to try to test the coil. So let's get on it. So here's Tyler tightening up the battery terminal. Now don't hit the body of the, the tractor dude or it will really spark. Let me give it a little bit more tug. Oh, it's perfect. Now let's see about that other terminal over there. No, on that one is the negative one. Go ahead. That's the wrong, wrong size? size. Okay. Yeah. All right, grab another uh, socket and get the right size. Um, Is it too big or too small? Um, too, too small. Okay. That one's actually a different oh, size. Yeah. There. Yeah. So, I, so look in the same group over there and pick out the other one. Big spark. Big spark, exactly. Okay. There you go. Tighten that baby up, Ty. Uh-uh, you got the ratchet wrong. There. There you go. Nice and tight. Perfect. Perfect. All right, now we're going to try to test the coil. So that's where my son Connor comes in. All right, come on over here. Let's try to test this coil. Okay, yeah. All right, Con. Now what you want you to do is touch that right there. Okay. Oh, that doesn't look like it should light up. Okay, so let's try this. Let's see if our test light's working. Okay. So we'll come over. Test 
test light's working fine. And I'm not getting power to that coil, so I gotta figure out why. Voltage meter? Yeah, but here, come on back over here, Con, and help me out. Okay, the ignition switch is on, it's off. I heard that there's supposed to be 12 volts across that. Um, we're not getting 12 volts across it. So I gotta figure out why. So troubleshooting time. Okay, no luck with the jumper. So we've got the points. Okay. Just I'll get that in a minute. Okay. Go ahead and take off the upper screw. So we're gonna try to take the points off. Right here? Yeah, that one. And see what we can do. We uh, know that there's juice going into the coil and a negative going out of the coil. And I've used jumpers on that. But I'm still not uh, getting a spark. So we're going to pull the points off and see what we can do. And there's the points in Tyler's hand. All right. Let's take a look at it. Okay, the points look a little bit corroded. So I'm going to run some emery cloth across there see if that helps but right now I don't have a clue to why this thing isn't in sparking it might be the coil might be the, the points here might be the condenser but we got to figure out why it's not getting a spark even when I jump the thing okay all right, we were able to get a little bit of a spark out of it, so I'm going to see if that's enough to fire the engine after cleaning those points. So let's see, we'll get a little starting fluid in there. And... <laughs> yeah, baby! Okay, let me turn off get some gas in it.